Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa... I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. That motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer! What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down! Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Honored to be asked to speak tonight. Even if it's tradition that everyone speaks. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about 
what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. I'll miss she worrying could be about you. Stubborn and I'll miss our patient, fights. Rash I'll miss and you. How she oh, carried yeah. a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um pageantry. Now you will never die Most from all, indifference. It seems or lead a tedious life. Lily loved Goodbye, sweetheart. Dearly loved her Thanks for everything. Vivian. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from You were a I've big, told, bright, shining star in, my heart in this shithole of a town. To tonight. And I miss you already. And now we'll have our Ren. moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So talk. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Bigby? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like... You, while well, he was, you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is, I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought, uh, I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? 
this is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? Now, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead whore. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs>
I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan. Currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean... This is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... He killed them, and he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's... he was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terrible. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending why even bring this up i guess it doesn't matter uh guys we have a problem what is it I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. 
He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I Rita... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I try. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> I'll 
All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, then we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Green's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. 